Ooh, he's evolving. Hello, everybody. Do check 720 here. Welcome back to the Isle of Armor. Uh, this is part three of our thing. I was kind of just jacking around in the Isle of Armor in between episodes before we continued recording the mission at hand. And hey, look, I, I killed a Scrafty. And we evolved little. Well, not little. We evolved big old Venusaur here. Petal Blizzard. Guess I'll get rid of Racer Leaf for Pl Petal Blizzard. Petal Blizzard. Petal. Petal Blizzard. Okay. And this boy. This boy right here, or girl, I didn't check the gender. I think it's a boy. I don't know. Don't want to assume your gender there, buddy. Nothing happening over here. Let me... I'm gonna come up here, because... Ooh, I didn't come up here before. Mine foo. Skarmory. That's cool. One else. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Oh, well, thanks for the salad. I appreciated the salad. It's not at all what I was trying to do, though. All right, hardstone, nice. Oh, shut up, dude. Okay. Well, it's a ooh, lichen rock. Lichen rock and braviary. Midnight lichen rock. That's cool. What do you want? Do you see another cool Pokemon? What is it? This one better actually be awesome, or I swear to god. Eh, Sandshrew's awesome. That's cool, I like Sandshrew. That's cute. That's a cute one you decided to show me. Wow, look at this area. And a rock rough. And a Diglett hiding. I'm actually gonna get this rock rough real quick. Rock rough? Come here. I'm gonna catch you. Cause, so I have, I never played Ultra Sun and Moon. So this will be my first time possibly getting a Dusk, well, Dawn, Dusk, yeah, I think Dusk is the one, the orange rock rough or whatever, because that one was only available in, uh, in Ultra, so, just same thing with, like I said last episode about Zero Aura, it'll be cool to, uh, to, to have this guy. Because I went on an expedition back in Sun and Moon. I went on the crazy expedition that... Uh, if you go on my Pokemon Home... Maybe I'll show you guys at a later date. But I went on an expedition where I caught literally every single Pokemon in the Pokedex. Except for the ones that weren't like feasible for me to get. Such as the newest Ultra Beasts that were introduced in Sun and Moon. I mean in Ultra Sun and Moon. I didn't get those because they... Uh, Another Diglett. I didn't get those because I didn't play Ultra Sun and Moon. And I didn't get... Um, the, like, a couple exclusive Pokemon like the Mythical. Um, and I also don't have a Meltan or a Melmetal. Because you have to play Pokemon Go to do that. And I have never gotten into Pokemon Go even though I'm a Pokemon fan. I don't know why, I'm just not a mobile game kind of person. But I've been tempted to get on Pokemon Go and get that because I have been unsuccessful. Okay, got Piwags. I'm just going around grabbing stuff, finding items. I'm just exploring. That's what we're doing right now, guys. Exploration. Iron. We found another Diglett. So I seen. I figured out. Well, not figured out, but I kind of just like seen in a video of what happens when you get all the diglets. And holy crap, is it it is very anticlimactic. Um, you find all these, all 151 diglets, and you know what you get? You get a diglet! Yay! When you could have just let us catch the ones that are sitting right here. <laughs> I'm not going to complain, though. It's It's fun. Oh, look at the Azuril that's just jumping around. It's a fun concept that they're sending us, like, on a scavenger hunt. It's a good way to make you explore the DLC. Um, you also get the other, once you, like, hit mile, like, milestone marks um, while searching for them, you get, uh, like, certain milestones. Like, after you get, like, 50 Diglets, then he'll give you, like, other Alolan 
variations of Pokemon. Which I don't really need, but I'm also a completionist, so I feel like it's like a personal challenge to find all the Diglets. I found another. Yes, a little diggy diggy. There's only one more in this cave. There's Gigalith. That's cool. Gigalith. Gigalith. Oh, there's another item here. Star piece. So I assume items just spawn in everywhere, huh? Alright. We'll be exploring more. We found the last one that's hiding here. Found him right here. We found all the ones inside of Brother's Cave. And then I seen an item that's right here. Duckstone, Dawnstone. Rare Bone. Gava Juice. Green Moose. Chocolate cake, rubber snake. <laughs> Hello, Duraladon. No, you're not Duraladon. What are you? I forgot your name. Want to fight me? Are you Duraladon? Oh, Dreadigan. That's your name. Dura Who's Duraladon? I don't, I don't even remember. No, Dread. What the hell? I think it's funny how I have like a wealth of Pokemon knowledge up until the point that you know I need actually need it. <laughs> like when doing these videos, and then I can't remember fucking anything. Mmm, nice sweet iced tea. We have our, our boy. Oh, it looks like a boy. Is it a boy? Hello? What is your gender? Venusaur, what be your gender? You are a boy, okay. Our our Venusaur, my guy. We have him with us. Duck. Right, let me go back out here because this is where I. What the hell? I went in a big ass circle? I did. I went in a big old circle. Challenge Road. What other Pokemon lie within Challenge Road? Okay, there's you. So that's the way I went, and it led us over there. So if we go this way now, what it do? How it be up here? Uh, finding items, piece of armorite. Okay. Oh wait, Diglett, I see you. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. I am a diglet and a digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. If anybody knows that reference, <laughs> tell me, tell me what it is. Another diglet has been found. This episode is just the great diglet chase. It seems. This is not what I planned for this episode, but. I wanted to explore the Isle of Armor. We don't want to just want to just do the story. We come here also to explore. Damn, this Diglett has it set. Look at him. He's just looking off into the sunset or the distance. It's very cloudy though. Beautiful sunset, however. Hmm. Now we come up here. Oh, so this is where the this dojo is. There are Diglets back here. Throat chop. Throat chop. Okay, no. Oh, item hiding there too. Black glasses. Nice. No Diglets hiding up here. Yeah, there's one right there. I'm gonna bike you. <laughs> Run your head over with this bike, Diglet. I don't see... I haven't seen any other Diglets on Challenger's Path. Maybe we need to look a little harder. Oh, hey, hey, I see you there, buddy. You snickums. Okay, now there's only two left. I mean, one left. There's only one left. Hello, Lycanroc, how fast do you move? Are you quick? Oh, you're quick. 
Oh, geez, you're quicker than I thought you were. Oh, there's the other one. We found him. We found a little bastard. Bling. Cha-ching, baby. Alright, now I want to explore down here in the lowlands. In the lowlands. Not the Alolans, but the Lowlands. You know what I mean, the Lowlands. Whoa, Malamar. Malamar just chilling. And Krabbies are just over here. Look what's going on, Krabby. How you doing? Hey, you doing? Oh, Chansey, looking scary as ever. What's going on here? What's going on? Is this that cave where the mushrooms were? Yeah, does this tunnel lead anywhere? I forget. Whoa, holy crap. Oh, there's more mushrooms. Let me get those. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's the desert. I forgot about the desert. It's not as crazy in here. We can check out the desert. Soft sand, eh? You're telling me we couldn't just... A rocky helmet. Nice. We just picked up some some dirt off the ground. Yep, we're just picking up dirt. Sand. Yep, it's just a bunch of soft sandbags. What's up, right on? Nice. Firestone. That's cool. Love tree ball. I see a diglet. Oh wow, isn't this just riveting gameplay? Isn't it? Isn't this just riveting? Another TR. Reversal, eh? Lovely. Anything hiding over here? Any more diglets? I need to worry about. Got sand dials. I like sand dials. Hi, sand dial. Oh, is that a right period? It is. Hello, big daddy. How you doing? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? I can smell Diglett. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. I knew I could smell a Diglett around here. Jesus, these Diglets are crazy. This guy needs to keep track of his freaking Diglets, I'm telling you. Well, Marowak. As well as a Torkoal, I believe. Yes. And a TR. Drill run. I like how this is just like a desert within a bowl here. Not too shabby. If you ask me. Not too shabby. Six more in this freaking desert. Are you telling me that? This desert isn't very big. So why is there so many diglets? Ooh, there's our boy Sanaconda. Sanaconda is cool. Diglet. Mmm, Diglet. Oh, there's one there. Dig, Diglet, Diglet. Thank you. Okay, now five are left in the desert. Five. Diglet. There's one there. Diglett. No, not you, jo Jaddy. Trying to get the Diglett. Okay, uh, ooh, Pokeball here. Flame Orb. Nice. What are you, Braviary? What's it? Oh, damn, look, it's Marnie. Marnie! Oh. You're not really Marnie. You're just a poser. You're just a poser dressed as Marnie. Um, I feel like there has to be another Diglett around here somewhere. Diglett? I swear, Diglett. Keep playing these games. You don't get back to your owner, he's gonna smack you up, I swear. Or I'm gonna smack you up. How about that? You like them threats? Huh? Does that make you wanna come out when I threaten you? 
Will I threaten your life? And your family? Huh? Oh, hey, there's one hiding right over here. Two more inside this desert? Where? I looked everywhere. I searched the entire desert from head to toe. Hmm. Wait. No. Hmm. You say so, hmm? Right on, are you hiding the diglets? Better not be hiding the diglets right on, I swear. Diglet, you hiding on top of this mountain? Diglet, you know I don't, I don't see any diglets. We're just gonna move on. Screw the diglets that are here. They could just starve or whatever without their trainer. I don't care. All right, whatever. We jacked around long enough. I wasted a lot of time. Let's head back to where we need to be. That's cool how we could freaking honeycomb homeland workout C. These little islands and everything, you need to check it out. We haven't even gone anywhere over there. We haven't even gone to some of these spots. Alright. Let's get back to the dojo. We jacked around long enough. Back to the dojo. And let's talk to the master like we said we like we needed to. Master. Master. Hold on, let me heal up my mons. You gotta use the toilet real quick. All right. Hey, master. Master. We must talk. Ah, uh, can this? Uh, can you please get her out of here? Hmm, there you are, DTX. Clara, well, thanks for coming. So did you tell this... So, uh, what? So what's this all about, Master? What did you tell? want to tell us? Right, well, I decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's last final ultimate third trial. Oh, the third trial? Oh my gosh. Final, last, ultimate, third trial? What's that? <laughs> I guess I'll say third trial. Hmm, mm, yes. And that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You've punched each other. Wait, pushed. You've pushed each other greater heights than and helped each other grow. Mm, yeah, if that's what you're going to call it. She she kind of piggy tried to steal from me and stuff, but okay. So I'd say it's time for you to get stronger. It's a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're gonna battle? Yes, okay. The rules are simple. The winner will be granted granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. A secret armor. This is it, finally. But can I? No, no you can't. You're gonna frickin' lose. The court is a power spot, okay. I'm gonna get going. I need to go there right away and prepare my pure heart for this. I'm gonna head over. I'm gonna go. Okay. You can't laze about like slow poke and take as much time as you need. Oh, I can. I'm terrible at reading. I've established this. Okay, well, there she goes. Clara, she's got talent, that's for sure. But it's cause. But it's caused her to slack off. She's never felt that the need to try hard at anything I guess even with her training here at the dojo I can tell she's been doing just the bare minimum but things have changed since you arrived at TX. maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her eh still I only hope that motivation isn't put toward anything mischievous it's a little uh a little odd that you'd put that out there, Mustard. You know what I'm gonna do before uh, before I talk to her? I'm gonna combine some items with the cram. Cram. 
Go all the way to the bottom of the list, please. Hurry up. Okay. Apricots. Hmm. What happens if we mix a pink apricot and another pink apricot and two yellow apricots? Pink and yellow, what is that going to make? Is that going to make anything interesting? Probably not. Because I suck at this job. Combining process complete, buzz. A heel ball. Nice. No. Cool, I got an extra heel ball. Alright, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Z-Dojo. Oh wow, look at this. I'm ready to fight you, girl. You ready? Look at this big old area. Big old battlefield just for us to fight. Oh god, are you gonna threaten me again? Gonna threaten my life? It's your crazy self. You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I got to win, no matter what. I'm gonna go all out. Totally beat you. You ready? Sure. Looks like you two are ready. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. Alright, you two take your places. It's time to battle. The Master's Dojo's final trial. Ready? And go! You're challenged by trainer Clara. Mm, Scroopy. You're still not giving me that hard of a challenge, lady. Well, maybe I should have changed my team because I'm gonna I'm being too too much of a butt, I guess. She has a Scroopy now, which is what I said she needed. And toxic spikes. Oh, okay, you're gonna try to toxic spike me, eh? No matter. I'm gonna fry this bug. Is it? Damn. It kind of sucks that I'm doing this. Not as challenging, like. Well, that's the way the that's the way, way the world spins sometimes. I thought there was gonna be some kind of leveling like system, and they like kind of lied. <laughs> All the rumors had said that the Pokemon would be comparable to your level, so that it wouldn't be like. Too unfair, but again, like I said, it looks like they lied. Because you really gotta think about it. the game's been out for a long time, so a lot of people who really hardcore play this game have a bunch of level hundreds already. So why wouldn't they just make the actual challenges like hard like this as well? I could see they don't want to alienate some people. You still have a whirlpede? You don't even have skullpede? You're gonna get a burn burst. She's almost a level 70 though, which is like decent. Decent. But she needs to have like 80s at least. That's what I think. Slow bro. There's no way I'm losing. I'm gonna go to the bitter end. Let me see your Galarian slow, bro. Ah, oh, he's so ugly. Look at him. He's cool. Look at the dud otter. Dud dud. You're only 67. This is unfair. I shouldn't do this to you, but whatever. Quick draw. Oh, so it gets to move quicker because it has the ability quick draw, huh? All right. Hit me with it. Give me your best shot while I open a Pepsi. Oh, that was cute. Your pose was cute as hell, girl. Rah, 
Oh, look at him putting his fist in the air. He's about to blast me with that thing. Well, you have quick draw, so you better hit me first. I'm Dynamaxing too. My poison type. Better do something. Toxtricity is gonna rock you. Max Mindstorm. Oh, that might hurt. Well, yeah, that did some decent damage. At least you hit me. That's good. Now it's time to die. Ooh, psychic terrain you set up, huh? Battlefield got weird. But Max Lightning will destroy you. It was worth a shot, though, Clara. You, uh, you put up a good fight. What an intense battle. That was like, um, that almost was like fighting Leon for a second there. How come they didn't even give her a team of six Pokemon? That's kind of anticlimactic. This is supposed to be a big dramatic battle and... Like, I've already beat the champion. I know that you can challenge this before you even beat the champion. That's like the whole point of what they were trying to say about this is... You could challenge this as early in the game. Like, if you just bought Sword and Shield and then you bought this DLC, then you can like, just go for this immediately. The victor has been decided. You have completed the trial, DTX. You are the ultimate winner. Clara, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Clara, you're cute, but you're so feisty. But that's how it always is, huh? The cute ones are always so spicy. Man, I totally lost. Uh, well, that stinks. I do everything, even... Cheat a little and still lose. Cheat? How'd you cheat? I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but... I was real... I really was trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym. Ah, no, don't give up on your dream. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo. You can tell the master that I cheated. Uh, but, but why? I'm not, I'm not telling that you cheated. I was supposed to be fair. That's your strength, DTX. Kindness toward both of your ri Pokemon and your rivals. M master I should apologize on Clara's behalf, too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she did, she just... Didn't want to beat herself up. She's good hard work. So... <laughs> Thank you, Master. I'm sorry. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to, to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart. Aw, oh, that's cute. Okay. She is a cutie. I'm crushing on Clara really bad right now, guys. I don't know what to say. I'm so proud of both of you. You've mustered so much, so much effort. To, you said your own name. You said mustard. I got so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle. Nice. You guys don't even know who I am. Why are you so emotional about this? You gave the best and triumphed. Even facing unfair challenge. To you, who have completed all the trials, I grant you the secret armor of the dojo. Take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get that sorted. And that's all, gang. As you are. DTX. Uh, um, I, well... Oh, thank, thanks for the card. You're really strong. Aw, thanks. Is she crushing on me now? <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, like now she she was talking crap to me, but now now she's good. What you crushing on me? One day I would like to be as strong as you. Okay, what's up, mustard? Did you figure it out? Ah, there you are, DTX. Since you completed all three trials. 
I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Okay. Now then, come on out. <gasps> there he is. Cup full. Ooh. 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 Whoa, look at him. Get away from me. He's like, I don't know you. Stranger danger. Boy. <laughs> okay. Beer? This Pokemon. In fact, the secret armor of the Pokemon Dojo. Say hello to Cub Fu. I know, I know. He's tiny. But raise it with dit with... Raise it with diligence, and it will become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. That's w That one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So, I was thinking, DTX, m maybe you join... Maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So you take good care of Cub Fool, okay? It's in your hands. Hi, right, Cubby boy. Mir. He's like, um, I don't like him. Okay. What's up, Cub Fu? Yeah, Cub Fu became your Pokemon! Yay! We got Cub Fu! Cub Fu trains hard to perf perfect its moves. The moves the master. The moves its master will determine which form it takes when it evolves, yep. Cub Fu nickname. Nah, we're not gonna name him. Give him a nickname. We're gonna add him to the party. Sorry, Venusaur, but we're gonna send you outies. Out of here. It's no longer your time. Now then, first thing for you to do is become the best fighting with Cub Fu. You need to build your trust. Cub Fu has, hasn't really had a chance to explore the outside world of Dojo, so... Maybe it'll help you become best friend... Uh, man. Hold on one second, guys. Hell out of here. Alright, guys. So sorry about that. Freaking ruining the plot of the story of... Some freaking dumb thing called me and was trying to renew my car's warranty. Let me remind you that I do not own a car. <laughs> so, my wife owns a car, but my my name isn't on it. Like, I don't know how somebody would be calling me for a car warranty, but what, whatever. Maybe it'll help you become best for better friends if you get... If, if you let it look around, yes... Great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots. Just keep an eye on you. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly toward each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball. Here, what? You can now let your Pokemon... Put the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. <gasps> no way, really? You'll be friends in no time. Oh, are you serious? No way we can walk around with our first Pokemon in our party. They really gave us that. Cub Fu. Uh, can we walk around with him? Can we walk around, Cub Fu? Huh? You say? Where is he? You said he walks around. <gasps> oh, look at him! Ah! Ah! They walk around with us. Oh, he's really slow though. Oh man, look! 
give us the ability to walk around with Pokemon. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so geeked. He said, Did he, is, it, is it just for Cub Fu though? Is it just for Cub Fu though? <gasps> Toxtricity! My boy! Oh. My goodness. Guys. Okay. You know what, Pokemon? You guys done... You guys done went and I think you outdid yourselves now. Oh, really? I gotta see, like, all of my Pokemon do it now. I gotta see, like, everybody do it. Oh, God. Let's see Dreadnought. Girl. Girl. Dread! Come on, Dread. Oh, Dread, you're slow. Let's see, will she, like, teleport or something? Dread! Dread, you're so slow. Yeah, it teleports if you get too far. Okay, Dreadnought is way too damn slow. <laughs> Hatterene is going to be slow too, probably. Oh, Hatterene! Let's go, girl. So slow. <laughs> okay, is that a Scorch? Sorry guys, I gotta check this with everybody. I gotta do this with everyone right now. Oh, look at Scent Gorge. Come on, Scent. Oh, look at him, how he moves. He moves like an actual centipede. Look at him. Yeah, Scent Gorge. My dude. Ah, I'm so happy. That's so cool. Can we see other people's Pokemon walking around online? I want to see that. Corviknight! Oh, look at him! Corviknight! Oh, he landed. Look at you. What's up, Corv? God damn, look, I got big old Corviknight behind me. Wow. You know what? This makes total sense, though. It makes nothing but sense because you get to see the Pokemon walk around in the wild, so why wouldn't you be able to have a Pokemon following you? Oh my god, that is so cool. There's just that little bonus that they gave us right there. That is so cool. Let's camp. Let's camp with this boy. Let's do some camping. Let's make a bond with Cub Fu. Oh, what's up, girl? Are you sad? Don't be sad. You wanna play? Oh, sorry, I can't. I, I know you wanna play and all, but I need to play with Cub Fu, girl. What's up, Cub? He's redless. Okay, wait, no, you come here. Okay, you wanna play? You wanna play, Cub Fu? Come on, beat me up. Kick my butt, Cub. Oh wow, look, somebody else is in my camp. He brought a Talon Flame with him. Where's that Talon Flame just here? Ta Hold up. Ta Talent! I guess that must have been uh, that other guy's... The other guy's thingy. Hatterani's all played too. Alright guys, well, we have Cub Fu now. And we beat, uh, what's her name in the battle? I think now it is, uh, it is time to, to call this one an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more.